Hey guys, I'm Sophie and welcome to my YouTube channel. I love eyebrows. I know that sounds weird, but I really do. I just think eyebrows can really make a look. They can just make a look stand out and look so put together. They're just, they can just be so attractive. They can also go horrendously wrong. I have a super defined arch, um, which believe it or not, I have always been really insecure about. I always wanted a super straight across eyebrow and I wanted them to be so even. They never were. Um, but then I go to get them done and women at salons are always telling me that I have a beautiful arch and apparently that's sometimes what people covet as well. So you got what you got and we're gonna work with it. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty lazy with my brows. I love the look of like a beautifully defined and slightly filled in brow, but I don't always have the energy to do it myself. And especially as somebody who has a full-time job, I'm not always getting up in the morning to give myself enough time to do my makeup routine, my skincare, and a brow. It's just a lot, you know? So I like to find hacks that minimize on my getting ready time in the mornings. I used to get my eyebrows waxed and tinted here in Toronto and I loved it. They did such an amazing job and I'd come out of there and my eyebrows wouldn't have any patchy bits because it would all be kind of dyed and it kind of dyes the skin underneath a little bit. So it makes her eyebrows look really full and it makes her eyebrows just like really even and you don't really necessarily need to fill them in anymore. Long story short, I loved it. I'm a little bit lazy in the morning so I liked it a lot. I loved how it looked at the end of the day. It kind of wears off every two weeks, which is pretty soon after you get it done. So when you're spending like $20, $25 on it, and then you have to go in every two weeks, it's exhausting and it's not really worth it. So I wanted to come up with a way that I could do it myself, which sounds really kind of scary and strange, but um, I found a way and I think you guys are going to like it. And it's so much easier than you might think. And it's going to save you so much money. I think you're going to love it. So now, the secret ingredient of this recipe. Yup, you see that right? Men's hair dye, just for men. But that's a lie, because we're about to use it. So this is actually what we're gonna use. Um, but you can use men's facial beard dye, uh, mustache and beard dye, or hair dye. To be quite honest, I'm not sure which this is because he doesn't have facial hair, so I guess it's just regular hair dye. But it's been working for me. The reason we're gonna use men's hair dye or mustache and facial hair dye is because the quantities are smaller. So the price point's usually lower, uh, not higher. Okay, so first things first, isn't gonna take off any residual makeup from my eyebrows um, with makeup remover. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are makeup free, we are ready to prep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something above, in the middle, below, and on the sides of my eyebrows. This is gonna keep the dye, if it does kind of go off the eyebrow, it won't start dyeing my skin too much. It does happen a little bit. It happens when you get your eyebrows tinted at the salon, so it's a little bit inevitable. But just prep that area as much as you can, and if you are wiping a wage dye that goes off of the eyebrow, just make sure to put a little bit more there in its place, or else it might start dying your skin. You can use any sort of oil-based product, um, or cream-based. I would suggest using something pretty thick. Um, natural oils or um, Vaseline is probably fine too. It totally depends on your skin, what you're comfortable putting on it. My eyes can be super sensitive uh, for some reason. So what I'm gonna use is one of my favorite products ever, um, which is a totally natural oil called a hoba oil. Um, a hoba oil is from, it's a nut oil from Hawaii. And I love it. It is super gentle and it doesn't, it's not as thick as like a coconut oil, so it doesn't clog pores as easily. This is one of my favorite things in general. I use it as like a makeup remover all over my skin. I used to use it actually as a moisturizer at times. Um, it's just a good all purpose oil. So I'm gonna use a whole boat oil. I'm just basically gonna trace the outline of my eyebrow with the oil. Oil is just gonna sit on your skin and we're gonna take it off more. And it's just gonna make sure that we don't die. Skin. So I'm going to kind of bring it up quite high, quite low, high, low. 
Okay, so now I have oil all over my eyebrows and I'm ready to begin. Um, I'm gonna use a cotton swab. Um, only reason I'm doing this is that I actually meant to buy the mustache and beard dye, and the one that I was looking at does actually come with an applicator, so I didn't get the applicator, and I wanted the tiny little brush. Um, so I'm just gonna like pull off the end of this cotton swab and make myself a little DIY applicator. Um, I just feel like the cotton at the end of it would kind of absorb too much of the product. Now that your product is mixed together, we're just gonna lather up a bit on our applicator. You can use whatever you want, quite honestly. You're just literally placing a little bit of product. Oh, you can't see that. Brush it onto the eyebrow. One thing I'm gonna do is keep in mind that I don't wanna go too far below or above my eyebrow. However, right around here on my eyebrow, I have like a bit of a bare patch um, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna try and fill it in so that it matches this eyebrow a little bit more. Um, so I'm just kinda gonna draw it on as if I was filling in my eyebrows and draw it down, just like that. I'm gonna do the other eyebrow. So I'm painting on little by little. I'd rather build up than put too much product on my eyebrows because it actually does change color really quickly. You can kind of see this one's already changing. So I'm gonna go over, as I said, and build up with that product. Okay, so it's working. As you can see, I look a bit like a clown. Um, over here, you can kind of see the product is bleeding out a little bit, which is totally normal. It happens. So get the end of a dry Q-tip and just kind of pull that product away. And then using a little oil, which I put on the end of my Q-tip, you can kind of wipe at it to get that product so it doesn't dye too much onto your face. And just keep kind of cleaning them up and you want to leave it on for about five minutes if you're nervous just try it for a couple minutes and then wipe it off and you can see how it looks and then you can always put a little bit more on afterward definitely don't be too scared as I said this stuff does not last that long it will rub off um, so if you do apply it and you don't like how it looks you can always kind of rub at it like oil-based products and it's gonna come off in no time but now we wait okay so the product is ready to come off Take a regular cotton pad, I'm gonna soak it in a little bit of water, and I'm just gonna wipe it off. All excess product off of the eyebrows, but also to soothe them a little bit, I'm gonna take another cotton pad and some rose water, and I'm just gonna kind of spritz the brows. I just find this is really nice. For my eyebrows, it kind of soothes them after that, and um, and it pulls off any additional product that might be left there, which is looking like none, so yay. So there you have it, my unfilled in eyebrows that are a little bit more defined than usual. As I said, this will last for about two weeks on me, and I can touch up as necessary. Sometimes I go with more of a bolder brow, I'll leave it on for a bit longer, and sometimes um, I prefer to fill them in. But on the regular, I kind of for this just because it cuts down on my time getting ready and it's super easy. One thing I forgot to mention is that one of these um, can last for like six months and I'm not even kidding, maybe longer. I've been doing it for months now and this is my first box. So it's super affordable. I hope that you guys liked this tutorial. Um, a bit of an odd one, but I hope that it was helpful. Let me know if you try it at home. And remember, just keep everything on hand to wipe away as necessary. Build up slowly so that if you do make any mistakes, you can kind of catch it quickly. The dye does go on pretty dark, so you'll see if you get it on your skin around your brow. No worries, just kind of wipe it away with the cotton pad. Follow up with any oil or product to like wipe away extra. Um, and you should be fine. So I hope you guys like it and uh, I'll see you next time. Oh my gosh, there's some on my forehead!